I got one of my last clips right after CT1 dropped, so 2013. Yeah, there's clips in here probably from before I was even able to grow a beard. I literally, I just started growing this at the beginning of filming and we've just been rocking since. That's the OG Chaz. Gotta pay respect to the OGs that, you know, paved the way for us. New, uh, you know, the new generation of street riders coming from Philly. There's like a, there's a switch hanger and a rail hop that was filmed the same day in like 2014. And then the newest clip last summer in uh, West Philly. It was like a bunk people, not like bunk. I guess the oldest clip would be sometime end of 2013, early 14. And I think the last clip I filmed was probably almost two years ago. A lot of the videos obviously in Philadelphia, um, New York, up and down the East Coast, but um, there was a Cali trip in there in 2015. So, what's up, Conway? Can I interrupt? Can I interrupt? Yes, you can. You already know, Ken's section is gonna be the best. I can't wait oh, to see. Man. We're here for you, My man. man. Fuck Fucking yeah. love you. Thanks Woo! for coming out, brother. You. Let's go. Right, we've been to Phoenix a couple times. Um, you know, Bat we were in Baton Rouge, uh, New Orleans. We went to Barcelona. I don't know. I mean, I think BMX takes you to a lot of sketchy places in general. So no matter where you go, you're you're bound to get into some shit. Uh, we're just hyped to have everyone out here and like release, you know, everything we've done um, over the past pretty much ten years, man. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Johnny. Uh, he's over there on the side. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Oh my God. How cool is that? He wants his sixty-five or seventy-year-old. Of course. Uh, Janyo's mom and aunt. They are the shit. <laughs> they party harder than I do. I was 19 years old, couldn't drink yet, still living at home with my mom. I was going to school to be a science teacher, now I'm a fucking carpenter. <laughs> Some dude waved a check in my face like, I'll pay you this much an hour. And I was like, I don't want to be a fucking teacher anymore. And no one had a real, real job. So you could call anybody and be like, you're right today. Geez, so much has changed. Um, well, for one, just the production of independent DVDs. Um, it seems like we're becoming, you know, more fewer and far between as the years go on. So we're just happy to, you know, showcase what we've done in a DVD format and keep 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 the dream alive um, in that regard. So shout out to everyone out there still making DVDs and independent zines, everything like that. Um, that's what we, well, that's what inspires us. So y'all have inspired us to put on something like this. So thank you. My voice was still cracking on my first clip. I'm filming Matt. Now I'm a grown man. Are you feeding me some? Yeah, sorry, baby. And without that, this fell air bottle wouldn't be here. We're sorry, we're sorry, baby. You know, crazy. Ten years ago, we were all in school. You know, had just met a few years before that, some of us. Um, you know, just life is completely turned, you know, bought a house, chilling in South Philly, uh, got married, you know, a lot less time to be dedicated to riding these days. It's, it's a whole different game trying to get out and film these days. Uh, you know, uh, Matt's in New York, the rest of us are mostly in Philly, he's busy, we're all busy, but, uh, you know, just still trying to keep it real, just get out every day after work for a couple hours, meet up with the homies. I have the time, it's just a street beer and hanging out, talking shit, or you know, trying to go find something to film. That's also the great thing about being in Philly and like working on this project for 10 years, and just being able to document the changes going on throughout the city. Um, you know, there's spots constantly getting taken out, upgraded, something. There's always something new going on. And uh, you know, that's why we love riding the street. That's why everybody's into this. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My man Miller. You know what I mean? It's, it's awesome, man. I'm so happy to see everybody. Well, we all grew up together, so we've been friends for like 10 years. Without giving it away, uh, my favorite clip in the video is from John Yo, and it is something he did in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, within five minutes of being at the spot. So once you see the DVD, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Favorite clips from the video? Some of them aren't even riding related. 
the people you meet out on the street while you're riding and the connections you make are just like, they're, they're undeniably some of the funniest and most genuine uh, like people you'll meet. And it's so cool how like BMX can, can just kind of bring that, that aspect out. Great, man, and the fact that it just came out, the fact that it's being released, and just in general, time doesn't matter. These clips are going to be timeless. So, cheers to everybody at Chalk the Truck. You know, I, I was there to witness a lot of the wild action. I think I might have filmed Miller's Ender, and it's crazy. But the fact that Miller moved to New York, and I mean, I know that kind of like hindered the, uh, it, it delayed the video by a lot because of his disconnected from all the homies, but the New York presence and the Philly presence, I mean, we're like the city of brotherly love, I mean, guys, they love New York, dude, so. Yeah, I, just, I was just uh, shouting this guy out, you All know? chocolate truck DVDs were handmade by an Italian craftsman in lower oh. Manhattan. Highest quality, family owned, family operated. How's it getting? Small batch, you know what I'm Small saying? Batch. Local, locally sourced. Uh, this is a Shaka Chuck 2 video. Hey! I think the latest clips were in that video. To see clips in the video in 2022, I couldn't even believe it. The video was awesome. That's what I said. I was like, those guys are chopping it up, killing it, every single one of them, holding it down like, like better than ever. And uh, even though some of the clips are old, that shit is new to everybody. One of those things that just lingered on for way too long, you know. But it just gets overwhelming at times. So you don't finish it up, and now we finally did. So yeah, it feels good. It feels good to have it all done. I mean, with stuff like this, there's never a delay. It's just like, uh, life gets in the way, man. We're not, we don't do this by trade, you know? Like, we all work full-time jobs, and there's no hate either way, but you get what you can take, you know? It's, we're out there when we can be, but it takes a while to film these projects, and like, for me, I moved to New York probably six years ago, and then, uh, trying to meet up with all these guys is challenging in itself, and I try and come back to Philly as much as I can, but trying to, film 11 different video parts with all these different people. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. So it does, you know, that, that's why the project goes on for like eight years and stuff like that. So there's parts of me that wish it could have been wrapped up sooner, but I, I appreciate the fact that we have a video that encompasses all these different years, all these different spots. We were filming for a long time and like sometimes you're like, oh, they're on like their fifth iteration and you're like, damn. <laughs> We didn't even do our second yet, you know? My boy looking like a prize fighter. Look at this guy. Joby, 10 and 0. Heavyweight champion in the world. I was up till 5 a.m. making DVDs. Because, yeah, why wouldn't you be, dude? It's 2022. DVDs are the most important piece of media you can own. Like. Yeah, one of my personal favorites, just for the story alone, is uh, Joby was doing like this. Uh, Handicap ramp to ice. It's a combination of things like the spot's crazy, the situation's crazy. We're trying to set up and shoot a photo. There's people hanging out their window telling you it's like their grandmother's porch. So obviously you feel you feel empathetic in those situations. You know you're like it, it, it's, it's people's personal property. You don't want to fuck around, but at the same time you're like you're trying to do your thing. You're trying to get your clip and shit. So like it was a battle. We went there one day. It didn't work out. Second day pulled up. Right away, there's problems. You're thinking like, "Fuck, this is gonna work." Joby gives it one go. Everything works out. Ladies yelling while he's doing it. Still does it. Like, and then we're leaving. We kind of tell her, "Hey, hey, we're done. We're never coming back again." She's giving us her blessing. Like, all right, cool, whatever. Thank you for being respectful as as you could have been. You know. We grew up going to love. We grew up going to Domino's and. And that was basically our situation. You came, you rode downtown Philly, 
and you do that triangle. You go to Friend Select, you go to City Hall, you go to Domino's, you go to Love. So like, it is cool for us to still have clips in Love because like, at this point, Love's been gone for probably five or six years. So to still have footage there and put that in our video, it, it, it like ties it all in. It's like, we wanted to make a Philly video. We wanted to be all tied into the spots and everything like that. So like, Love is, you need that, you need that little level. There's, there's clips of Tom in there from like, I don't know, probably 2014. And like, you don't see much Tom White footage. So that's a, that's a cherished piece that you have there. But then you also have new school shit where like, I filmed with Ben Hiddle maybe two years ago. And like, Ben Hiddle's always been one of my favorite riders, but he's one of those people like, in recent years, you don't see a ton of footage of. So like, you get to have all this experience where like, oh, you pop on a trip to Baltimore, you pop on a trip to DC, and all of a sudden you're riding with all these great people. Look at it a lot of different ways because I've been through it all. Short videos are great. They show a certain time period, a time frame, you know, capture a certain moment. But like in our parts, dudes are literally going through puberty. Like they look different <laughs> at the end of the part, you know. So like A and P and shit, those guys are riding spots that haven't. They're, they're gone now, you know. So there's always that aesthetic to it. It's always cool. Like regardless of it, you're always showing a, a moment in time. You're always capturing that certain thing.